Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to look at how you can record using two different USB microphones at the same time. Now this might be really useful if you were doing say a podcast with two people and you wanted to mic each person separately or if you had two people playing instruments and you wanted to mic those separately and this was the equipment that you had to hand. Now I should point out that this is only going to work on a Mac. You can record with two USB mics on Windows but not in the way that I'm about to show you. So this is for Mac only. Now I post regular videos on home recording studio, especially aimed at beginners, so if that sounds like you, then do subscribe to the channel if you want to get more of my home recording studio tips and tricks. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, really helps me out. And if you have any comments or questions at all, do post them below, I love to read them. And this video is the result of a question that someone asked quite recently. So it does help me out to know what sort of content I can produce that will help you out. Okay, let's crack on and look at how you do record with two USB mics at once. Recording with two USB microphones at the same time on a Mac is actually pretty straightforward. Let's have a look at how you do it. So the first thing to do is search through your apps for the audio MIDI setup. This is a utility on the Mac that lets you look at the various devices that you have got installed on your computer. As you can see, I've got quite a few. I could use my built-in microphone for recording. I could use my USB audio interface, but I've also got two USB microphones plugged in. So I've got my Shure MV51 and I've got an Audio-Technica 80-2020 USB+. Right, starting with the Shure, the first thing I'm going to do before I combine these two microphones is check the sampling rate. It's really important that all the devices you choose to combine together in what's called an aggregate device, as we'll see in a minute, is that they all have the same sampling rate. Otherwise, you'll encounter problems when you start recording. So I've already set the Shure up to record at 44.1 kilohertz and the same with my 80-20-20 USB plus. So 44.1 kilohertz or 44,100 hertz matching sampling rates. Now the next thing to do after checking that is to click this plus here and create an aggregate device. Now this is a lovely little utility on the Mac for being able to combine different audio devices so that you can use them at the same time in the right sort of recording software. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this so it makes some kind of sense when I come to pick it in my software. Let's call it two USB mics because that really describes what it is. Now, the first audio device that you pick from the list of all those available becomes the clock source for this aggregate device. Okay, so I've picked the Shure MV51. So that's my first device. Now, all I need to do is pick another sub device. And in this case, I'm going to pick my 802020 USB plus. You notice I checked the one with the in rather than the one with the out because I'm interested in using this as a recording device. Now, did you also notice that when I ticked that, this box here ticked itself this is the drift correction. If the devices you are combining in an aggregate device are not synchronized using hardware, which in this case they're not, then you need to enable drift correction to compensate for drift in the data between devices. If that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry about it. Just make sure that you have ticked drift correction for the sub devices. Now, the last thing you need to look at while you're here is you'll notice that now I've got these two sub devices, the Shure and the Audio Technica, color coded. And just remember this, or you'll have to refer back to it. The Shure is the first device. And so input channels one and two belong with the Shure. So if I want to record using the Shure mic, then the inputs will be on one and two. Now I could use one of the inputs and record a mono track, or I could use the two inputs together and record a stereo track. Same with the AT2020 USB Plus, but the inputs are on three and four, and you'll see how this works in a minute. 
Okay, so we've got our aggregate device set up. Now what I'm going to do is look in a couple of pieces of software how to use these two USB mics at once. Now, just very quickly, if we look at Audacity, which is obviously very popular recording software, you're not going to be able to use this to record your two mics at the same time. You could choose here the aggregate device, but then you'll have to pick which channel you are recording on, whether it's one and two or three and four, and you can only record using one mic or the other at once. So if you want to record two things at once, like two people speaking across a table and you're using two mics, or you've got somebody playing the guitar, someone else singing with two mics, you're not gonna be able to do it in Audacity. So let's quit that. And let's have a look instead in GarageBand. Now with a bit of setting up, you can use GarageBand to record using the two USB mics at once. So I've got a project already set up here. And if I go into the preferences of GarageBand and then look at the audio MIDI here, you'll see at the moment, I've got the recording device set up as my USB interface and it's actually got a microphone plugged into it which is why it's showing some feedback here. Let's use this drop down box and choose two USB mics as our device. Okay so it's switched out and so the recording device is now the two USB mics. Now the next thing you want to do, I've got one audio track set here. I want to be able to see what device is being used to record the audio on this track. So I'm going to view and make sure I've got my smart controls here so that I can look at the recording settings for the track. Now the third thing I need to do is I need to right click here and configure track header because the default in GarageBand is not to show this record enable button. So if I Tick that, okay? You'll see that a little button has appeared here. This is what's going to enable me to have several tracks and arm them for recording at the same time. If you can't see that button, then you can't set up the different tracks. Okay, so now I've done that, I have got this audio track ready to record. And if I look in the recording settings here, you'll see that I have a drop down list to choose my input. This track is going to record using inputs one and two, which if you remember are my sure mic. Now, if I look at the drop down list, I could switch and go to three and four, which would be the other microphone, but let's leave that on the sure and let's double click here to create another audio track. And let's go down here and choose three and four. If I click on this track, you can see that my voice is being picked up and this is being picked up by the sure mic. If I click on this track, you can see that my voice is being picked up, but this time it's being picked up by the Audio Technica mic. Okay, now to get these both recording at once, I need to click this button here, the record enable. You see how that started flashing? Okay, now I'm getting um, indications that my voice is being picked up on both tracks but I'm going to enable the recording on this track as well by clicking here. So I've got both of these flashing. So both of these are armed for recording. They're going to record when I press the record button. And let's just quickly recap. Number one track is recording on inputs one and two. Number two track is recording on inputs three and four. So now if I just hit record, you'll see that as I speak, both microphones are picking up my voice. So if I just tap the shore, you see that I'm only re receiving the taps on that microphone. And if I just tap the Audio Technica, you'll see that that microphone is picking up the, those taps because I'm tapping very gently on the actual mic. So that is how you record from two different USB mics in GarageBand. Pretty straightforward, but obviously there's a little bit of setting up to be done. So let's stop there and I'm going to quit. Okay, now let's have a look in another piece of software just to go over that process again, but how it might look different in a different kind of piece of software. So I'm going to have a look in Reaper. Okay, it's a very similar process. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you go into the preferences and in the audio device, make sure you pick 
your two USB mics so you see how useful it is to name it accordingly there so that you can very easily pick it out. Okay, so that's my recording device. Now all I need to do in Reaper is if I double click here and double click here, I'm creating two different audio tracks. What I'll do is I'll just quickly go into the track manager and name them. So we'll call this one Shaw and this one Audio Technica. Okay, just makes it a bit clearer. Okay, the other thing I quite like to do in Reaper is I like to select the tracks and make them random colors so that, that you know you can easily see the two different tracks. Again, it's about arming them for recording. So I will arm this one for recording and then I get to choose whether I'm doing a mono track or a stereo track. Let's go stereo and here I can choose the shore, okay? So I'm going to choose the front left and the front right of the shore. Now I could combine both the mics in one track, but I don't want to do that. I want to record them on separate tracks. So pick the shore there. And here, if I arm this one for recording, I can choose the Audio Technica here. It gives me a bit more information. Obviously in GarageBand, it was just numbers there. You've got actually the names of the mics and you can see that my voice is being picked up again by both the mics. So the meters are jumping away like that. Now, if I start recording again, you can see that both microphones are picking up my voice. Again, I'll tap on the mic. Let's tap gently on the shore. Okay, so you saw just the shore picking that up. Now let's tap gently on the Audio Technica. Okay, so I am recording two different tracks, two different mics. Now, obviously these two tracks are gonna sound pretty identical because I'm just talking to both of them, but you could have them set up at either end of a table and have two different people having a conversation into two different mics. Like I say, you could have people playing two different instruments or you could set one up to record your vocals and one to record a guitar or something. So lots of different uses, but a really useful utility. So yes, you can record with two USB mics at the same time on your Mac, very straightforwardly. Well, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, if you've got any comments or questions, do post them below. Look forward to hearing from you, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.